I figured we might as well document this journey that we're on because we are officially starting our first IUI cycle. So I'm currently on cycle day three and yesterday I went in and had an ultrasound done to check the thickness of the lining of my uterus and look at my ovaries to make sure that I don't have any pre-existing cysts, which I don't, and the lining is good. So now cycle day three, I have to start taking Clomid, 100 milligrams, well, 50 milligrams twice a day, so 100 milligrams a day for cycle day three, four, five, six, seven. So for the next five days. Um, I've never taken Clomid before, so I don't know what to expect. So that's where we're at, cycle day three, the start of our first IUI. Okay, so it's cycle day 10 now. I finished taking the Clomid a couple days ago on cycle day seven. I didn't really have any side effects at all with that, so that's good. Now um, I'm gonna go in and get an ultrasound done to see how my follicles are, how many, and <clears throat> what size they are, and figure out a plan from here. So it turns out that I have five potential follicles. A two measure about 15 millimeters, but the three on my left are smaller. One's measuring nine, the other I think is measuring five. The next plan of action is to wait. I'm gonna start doing the ovulation tests this weekend. And if I get a positive, then I'm gonna have to call the office and schedule the IUI for the same day. But if I don't get the positive ovulation test, then on Monday, I'm gonna go in for another ultrasound and we'll take things from there. Morning! I feel like every time I record something, I'm in my car. But today is cycle day 14, it's Monday, and I'm gonna go in and get another ultrasound done to check on my follicles, see how much they've grown since the last appointment. I did not get Obviously, I did not get a positive ovulation test over the weekend, which is pretty typical. Um, I usually get it on cycle day 16, so and I'm on 14 right now, so two more days. It's just before 8 o'clock. My appointment's in 15 minutes, so I'm going to head down there and then let you know what they say. Okay, I'm back now. So, let's see. Good news is I have two follicles. I have one, now it's like one large one on my right ovary. It's measuring 20 point something. On my left ovary, those, that one grew. Like, um, it was, the biggest one was nine millimeters, and now today it's 18. So, I've got two mature follicles, one on each ovary. So basically, right now it's just test, and when I get my positive, I'm gonna do the IUI. If I don't get a positive by 8 a.m. Wednesday morning, I'm gonna come in for my appointment and they'll reevaluate me. So now it's just basically a waiting game and letting my body do what it does. Yeah, we'll just wait and see, and I'll update you later on. It's now cycle day 15, but last night and this morning, I got a positive ovulation test. So this morning at 7.30, I called the doctor's office and let them know, and I came in, well, I set up a time to come in for the IUI. So he gave his sample, and then he called me and said that the IUI had to be canceled because his count was too low. It turns out that his post-wash count was 100,000. I guess the doctor said that they prefer a minimum of 2 million, and his was at 100,000. He called me and said that they weren't going to do the IUI, and I was like, 
<laughs> are you kidding me? Like, it just made me so upset. So they agreed to do the IUI because, hey, my mommy. Because, I mean, we already paid all that money and, you know, it only takes one. So there's not much to it. <laughs> she did the insemination and afterwards I had an ultrasound. She wanted to check those two follicles that I have to see if they've changed at all or if they're showing any signs of ovulation. And the right follicle was measuring a little smaller than it was yesterday. And it had like this gray, um, I don't know, fuzzy area around it. And she said that that's signs that it's you know, starting to ovulate. And on the left side, or my left ovary, that measured 19 millimeters and yesterday it was 18 millimeters so it actually grew a little bit since yesterday and um, that one was also starting to show signs of ovulation. That's about it. I mean, you know, there wasn't much to it. Now I have another appointment on, let's see, today's Tuesday, I have another appointment on Friday for an ultrasound to see, I mean, just to verify that I ovulated.